Hi, welcome to EG Testimonial Blog Plugins. To use the plugins in your WordPress website, you have to install and activate these plugins. So you can see I have installed my plugins and just I want to activate it before going to start working with this one. So I click on this button to activate the plugins and you can see our plugins is successfully activated. You will find it a helpful admin menu you can see this is the testimonial blocks admin menu and if you click on this menu you will find out a landing or welcome page for these blocks from here you will get the support and even you can write these plugins if you are satisfied with this feature so to start working with these testimonial blocks you have to go to your editor i mean this block editor you can create a new post or page or any custom post drive to start working with this. I am just going to create a new page from here. And you can see this is our new page interface and I want to give the title of this page like testimonial blocks. If you click on this plus icon to expand to the block insert library, you will find you any category called the testimonial blocks. Under this category, you will find out our first blog is our grade. So to use the blogs, you have to click on this icon. It will load or insert it in your editor automatically. And you can see this is the initial behavior or the look for this testimonial blogs place. And if you select this, you will find corresponding all of the settings here. You can see there are two tabs one is the general tabs and another is our advanced tab and under the general tab you'll find out more panels about settings so like container testimonial bar go to icons writing testimonial content and user information so let us try to add our first content so add to the testimonial text i am just going to open a Lorry of some text and want to just copy and paste from here. You can see this time going to copy and post the text here. I want to use the similar text to reduce our time. That's it. It is giving the option to upload the media. I mean this review or photo. Just I am going to click on this or button. You can upload it from your hard drive. I mean your computer. Or you can use your existing media library content. Suppose I want to use this image for this review. So you can see this is our result for this review image. We are getting the options for the review names. We can find any names like I am just going to type John Doe. There were other more options like the review titles. I mean the designations for this review like he is the ceo or chief executive officer so i am just going to write down the title and we can write down the name of this company like it can be our put in tricks and there are the same informations about another reviewer we're just going to paste the same thing Just add a new MS from here, like I went to use this MS with this cup. And we can change the writing from here. If I select this one, we'll find out our writing system. You can simply toggle hide and show. And you can change the writing system from here. Suppose I want to make it the 4.5, and in this case, we can make it like 4. Or 4.2 just I want to make it the 4 and if you select the whole I mean this whole container you can will find it is from here there are two items we will find it a new button to add more items if you click on this you will get a new placeholder to add more testimonial or you can also duplicate it from here like I'm just going to duplicate I will get the more items if you want to remove this one, you can just simply remove this grid item from here. 
similarly you can just going to remove from here and if you select the parent country now you will find all of the corresponding settings from here like this is our basic grid settings grid columns grid gap and some other options let us try to publish our first testimonial grid and if you check out our fountain to see the result we can see this is our result now i'm just going to customize that design suppose we want to add more options like i want just to want to duplicate it one i want to change this image if you want to change the image from here you have to click on this icon and just i want to use this image for this river you can change the names text and other informations suppose we want to make it three columns you can just simply increase this column you'll also get some more options like tablet view and mobile view you can set the value from here similarly you will be able to control the grid gap for different devices like desktop tablet and mobile by default this 20 pixel for this tablet sorry for the desktop view and tablet is 20 and 15 is the mobile view <clears throat> so if you want to just customize your container you will find also the container in the padding system for hair and you will also be able to change the color background color from hair there is the box shadow you can make it height or you can make it show you can see this is the border radius from here by default it is the 5 pixel you can increase the value or you can use the default value from here you can also use the border image oh, sorry the border you can use the border width from here like i want to make it one pixel once you are getting this width you will find out some two corresponding settings like the border style from here like you can change it groups or make it the dotted and you can also change the color from here right now i want to make it just zero and if you check out the next panel from here you can see this the testimonial bar this is the testimonial bar you can make it the simply hidden or you can keep it visible you will also be able to change the position for this testimonial bar by default the left position is selected you can change the select right right stuff or make it bottoms i just want to make it the left and you can change the thickness for this bar by default it is the four pixel you can increase it or use the default one similarly you will get the bar color from here if you expand you will be able to pick a color from here just i want to change the color and want to use a light yellow color from here and if you open thus the code icon you can see this is a code icon you can toggle this or you can make it the visible there are four items like right now you'll be able to pick any style from here suppose i want to keep this one by default you'll be able to change the color i mean this icon size from here or use the default similarly you will get the icon color you can pick any color custom color for her and say uh, last option for this icon is the opacity you can use a uh, opacity for her just i want to keep it 0.4 or 40 percent and if you go to the surviving system you can see we can hide this numerical rating a rating this is our numerical rating sometimes you may near, may near, don't sometimes you may need to hide this one just to simply hide from here you'll also be able to change the color from here and similarly the testimonial content you can see there are different font sizes on different devices suppose i want to keep it the 16 pixel for the desktop and you can change the mobile like i want to make it 15 and on tablet it will be our 14 pixel you can change the alignment for this text like center right 
or justify. I have to make it to the left alignment. You can pick a color from here or you can simply clear this color. And if you go to your testimonial user informations, you will find your test alignment. You can make it center alignment, right alignment or left alignment. You can change the color, uh, I mean this photo size. By default it is 60, height and width. You can change the color, I mean this photo border from here and the photo border radius. And for the user information you can see there is the settings for the name, designations and company. You will also get some advanced feature like you can control the chat index or you can add some custom clause to add some custom style. So finally if you update and check out your fountain you will get the result. And you can see this is a result. I hope you have understood. If you have any questions you can log me. I will tell my best to help you. Thank you.